Yes, indeed, there you are, showing up the King of Pentacles. You'll win, of course. You will win. You will. Oh. Hey there, Taurus. How are you? It's your Force Fair here. Nice to see you again. Welcome in and welcome back to the Hundred Acre Woods, where I read cards and you're already talking towards. This is a bonus for, I've decided that with the Aries season, I'm doing bonus readings and this is a bonus for you. Taurus, you are manifesting. Look at that. And happy about it. You are happy on the bottom of the deck. That which you might not see is that you are in fact happy, Taurus. Beautiful energy. And it's the feelings of, um, it's the feeling versus thoughts. Feelings. And then the actions you take, you know this, you're a master manifestor, Taurus, you know this. So what, my question is, what are you manifesting? Let's find out with the tarot. What are you manifesting, Taurus? What is the team of Taurus working on? Let's take a look. What is the team? Oh my goodness. Star. Taurus, the first thing I heard when this flipped out was hope. Taurus is manifesting hope in the hearts of others. Oh, Taurus. What crosses is the Wheel of Fortune. Higher Self, the Knight of Wands. The focus and foundation is the Seven of Cups. In the past, the Seven of Pentacles. In the future, High Priestess. How you see yourself? Is that slow and steady night? Knight of Pentacles, how other people see you. Look at you. They see you as the King of Cups. Hope under fear. The Page of Swords. And the outcome. Beautiful. Truth. Clarity. Mm, Taurus. That which you might not see. The bottom of the deck. The Seven of Swords. You might not see. You might not see how others, I'm not feeling this is like you lying to yourself, Taurus. I'm really feeling that you might not see others lying to you. Okay. Let's, let's take a look at this star. This is Aquarius energy. This is hope. This is healing. I'm really feeling hope. Hope for humanity. And is this what Taurus is manifesting? For some of you, this is also, um, especially when I have the, the hope and our fear with the page of, of swords up there, that's um, internet. So for some of you, you will be a star. You'll be known. The Ten of Cups is what clarifies the star and the page of wands. This page is the adventurer. This page is, um, he's curious, but you know what? I have got to look that up. I love this deck because this deck gives a different perspective and it's a very, it's, it's, um, that's why it's yours. Cause I, I love this deck. The... So this, this page, and, it, and in this deck, it's the knave of wands. Good news, short trips, contacts abroad. You may feel, you may, sorry, you may make some acquaintances through study or travel. So is what, is, is, and again, he's the curious page, right, Taurus? Like he's the curious page. So this is going overseas for some of you, traveling for others, listening to it, seeing, um, it's almost like I am feeling you are looking at the stars from overseas, from different countries, uh, knowing that we all look at the same stars. That's what I'm hearing. You're feeling a sense of connection with the Ten of Cups. You're overflowing with love and you, you want, with the wheel of fortune here, you're feeling good. You're feeling good. And with this knight, 
going from the page to the night, your higher self, and you, here's your higher self right there in the near future. So you could be traveling in the future, making plans, sort of looking as to where you would love to go, right? The night of, of wands is clarified by the temperance card. And the eight of pentacles. You could be uh, going abroad for work um, and being patient with the opportunities being given. Happy where you are, but knowing that the timing will be such that everything will work out. And it could be for work, um, collaborating with, with others. It could be through the internet or actually um, taking a trip. The Seven of Cups is your focus and foundation. Wow. Now, this to me always seems to be what would be the, the Ace of Pentacles, but in your deck, this abundance is the Ace of Cups, and it's right below the Ten of Cups that you're patiently waiting for. And, and you could have, these are options. You, you're sitting in this beautiful energy of curiosity, of, of wanting to explore, of wanting to take the steps necessary. This is all Sag, Sag energy with the Knight of, and uh, sorry, the Knight of Wands and the, uh, the Temperance card. This is all Sag energy. Where's Sagittarius in your chart? And it's that wanting to experience new things, new people, new foods. This is very Taurus, right? Where you will go overseas and go, man, why is it that we don't have food? And these are just off of, you know, street vendors, food trucks, this type of thing, where you're just like, wow, the flavors, the smells. I'm really feeling travel for you, Taurus. Travel. And you could work. There was a time there, and I, I don't know if it was early 2000s, um, where people were making a good living off of going to different resorts, to different places, different countries, and vlogging about it, right? It very much has that same energy, that same feel. Ace of Cups. If you are a single Taurus, and I've got 777 right here, we'll do that with angel numbers, um, you have options, and you are so, I'm just going to say, happy in your own skin. You are so uh, confident. I, I'm feeling this sense of, of Taurus just wanting to explore, tapping into that Sagittarius. Where's Sagittarius in your chart? What's in the ninth house, right, of your chart? And it's just this feeling of busting out, wanting to get out, wanting to see the world. Ooh, Taurus. And the Six of Wands and being successful. You're, it's almost like you are reaching other countries, other cultures, bridging um, with love. This is this is pure love, and this is this is success. With the Six of Wands, success from all your hard work. Mm. Seven of of pentacles in the recent past, the wheel of fortune, the crossing energy. This, what you might not see with the seven of swords is people lying about their experiences to you, lying. Be aware, just be very aware, do all of your due diligence, do all of the, if there are, if, if it, uh, I don't want to say that. If they're offering you something, just make sure you read all the fine print. Just make sure that there are no surprises, no lies, no um, no gaslighting. It feels very uh, like Taurus won't, won't notice kind of energy. And yet the wheel is here twice. So if people have been lying to you about reasons why you shouldn't, it might be a concerned parent telling you you shouldn't fly right now. You know, the, the Boeing planes are falling apart in, in the sky. Um, just, this is fear. This is fear from others. I don't feel it's from you, Taurus. So just be aware. Just be aware. And the five of 
Cups. Now, in this Five of Cups, in this, in your deck, this, this very much reminds me of the sun. It's a happy card. Um, it's, it's knowing that you're loved and it's right beside that Ten of Cups. And it's almost like the realization that all your work, the wheel is turning, that all your work will, um, and, and this is you right now, Taurus, in the Ten of Cups, sitting in that Ten of Cups. I'm going to read this for you. Let's find it. Um, because I find it odd that it's the Five of Cups, which is crying over spilt milk, this type of thing. And the five, this is happiness in your deck. It's happiness. Dreams of love become a reality. Um, reconciliation for some of you. A question of love is resolved positively. Joy from sons and from daughters. I mentioned um, if you have parents concerned about you, just reassure them. It's okay, mom. It's okay, dad. I'm good to fly. It's it's all good. It's don't don't um, manifest because again you are manifesting Taurus. So if you're manifesting safe travels, if you're manifesting going to other countries, if you're manifesting experiencing food that you love, I've never tasted this before. I've never smelt this before. This this is what I see for you, Taurus. This is and you will have success with this like six of of wands. Now your intuition is heightened. Your intuition's on point. In the near future, the Four of Pentacles. Ah, interesting, because I listen to your intuition when it comes to anything, because it says password here. So it's anything to do with your passwords, with your security, with your bank accounts, with your uh, social media. Um, it's almost like I, I have to tell you, Taurus, just change your passwords change all your passwords. I don't know why. And, ooh, the moon. Because you don't know what people are doing. The truth is going to come out because it's right about this moon. This is what you might not see, the seven of swords. So in the future, if you're doing any traveling, make sure everything is secure. It's all I need. And you will. With this Knight of Pentacles, is how you see yourself. You will. And the Five of Swords. Yeah. This seems... I'm going to get another one out. Yeah, and the Chariot. Okay, so we got you moving forward. Again, travel. Trusting in the Divine. Doing this due diligence. Reading the fine print. This is Virgo energy. Because I really feel that there's something that is telling you your stocks are down, your your like everything is dropping, but it's not, it's it's seven of swords, it's not real. It's not true. It's almost like you know how they put up pages, whether it be through for a bank account or, or whatever, and it looks exactly the same, except something is off. That's what I'm really picking up from your high priestess, clarified by the four of pentacles and the moon. And then right below the moon is this. Five of Swords. I gotta read this one. The Five of Swords. Mm. Five of Swords. Loss. Accident. Um, dissatisfaction. Discontent. Be ready to fight against adverse circumstances in order to make your dream come true. And it's, if it's, for some of you, dream to travel, there's just, it feels like there's just something like, oh, you, oh, it kind of reminds me of um, what's happening in Niagara Falls, that people with the, with the solar eclipse book like a year or more in advance, and then they're like, oh, sorry, we don't have the room, and they, they, they sort of canceled all the, uh, they've canceled the reservations and it reminds me of of Jerry Seinfeld where he goes you can take the reservation but you can you hold the reservation right that that, that always makes me laugh um and it feels very much like that that in in the, the Niagara Falls case all these hotels and so then they they that that room might have been a year ago or more than a year ago a hundred dollars a night and now they're 
they've thrown out those reservations to take new reservations that for $1,000 a night. It just feels sketchy. The Seven of Swords to me today on in your read on my table feels, and this is what you cannot see, sketching me out. It's sketching me out. However, when it's right beside that manifestation card, I am manifesting. It's almost like Taurus is saying, oh, Forest Fairy, I already know about this. Oh, Forest Fairy, I'm manifesting the best, the safest, the best, the most amazing opportunities, experiences overseas in different countries. Taurus, I believe you. Taurus, I, I, I feel you. I really do. That you are moving forward. And with this, like, protection of the wheel, the, the chariot, we've got, yes, the star, first card out. Like, I, get, I, I feel you, Taurus. I, I do. I know you're good. Now, how other people see you is the king of cups. Look at this. And the sun. They see you as being happy, loving, logical. Logic and love is the king. He's the balanced king for me. He's the logic and love. They see you as being happy, moving forward. Yes, and it's almost like with this Three of Pentacles, only working with those that you trust, only working with those that, that see you as the leader that you are, seeing your wisdom. I'm really feeling wisdom with, the, with this Three of Pentacles. And as I pull this um, page of swords right above the King of Cups, it could be that you're working with younger people, your own children, um, you might be um, really taking a look at the internet and how you can not just make money, but make connections, make, um, I'm just going to say connections, collaborations online. Page of Swords, your hope and your fear. Mm, the Knight of Swords. You're standing up and fighting for, just like this five of swords, you're standing up and what's, oh, you might have to, if there, if you have been, let's say, hacked or your information has been um, compromised, you got to stand up with the that truth. Do you see that sword in, of truth, the clarity right there that he's wielding? And with wisdom. Yes, indeed, there you are, showing up the King of Pentacles. You'll win. You will win. You will be successful with the Six of Wands. You'll be happy about the results. You'll move on. Beautiful. Beautiful. Taurus. Now, last card. Ace of Swords. The Seven of Swords has shown up. This is the light at the end of this dark tunnel, Taurus. This is the light and trans. Look at this, the death card transformation, but a beautiful death card. You might have felt that you were sort of suspended in crystallous form and now you're ready to fly. Do you see these angel wings? You are protected Taurus. You are, you have transformed Taurus and it's your truth. Ooh, the truth that you might not have seen what you felt with the high priestess. You just knew something wasn't right. <laughs> Online. Change passwords. It says right here, password tours, change passwords. So I'm very curious because I keep going to what you cannot see and I kind of feel that you can see it. You're seeing the truth, Taurus. Through all these lies, through all the deception, through all this, you can see it. And it's clarified by the eight of wands. The Eight of Wands. Communication. Interesting. You might be getting communication that someone's been hacking away in your systems. If you have a, a, if you have a, a company, really solidify these, these passwords, these, the, um, and, and I don't know enough about computers to even speak on it, but firewalls, I'm going to say. Um, I'm hearing firewalls, like solidify, um, fortify, anything online. Oh, Taurus. Let's get some angel numbers on this. I see right off the bat, seven, seven, seven. Let's, let's 
are the only numbers on here? Well, let's do three. Let's do seven first, and then 77, and then 777. Those are the only numbers on the table. Interesting. Seven, the energy of magic. I am manifesting, says Taurus. The energy of magic is surrounding you. Align your thoughts with the highest. Yes, indeed, 77. Let's go to it. Seven, seven. Prepare for the best, Taurus. Good news is coming and positive changes are unfolding. That's that eight of wands. Absolutely. And seven, seven, seven. Last one, Taurus. That's all we got on here. Seven, seven, seven. I love this for you. Seven, seven, seven. Your magic manifesting first card out and manifesting abilities are increasing at this time. Tap into your inner superpowers and release your magic into the world. And again, it's through that internet. It's, it's Aries. Take a look at the Aries read because they're, they're going to break the internet. That's, that's fun. All right, Taurus, that's what I see for you. And I'm sure I'll see you again. Take care from your forest fairy. Bye for now.